UAW President Sean Fain reports progress with two of Detroit's big three automakers, but as it stands tonight, there is no deal. UAW President Sean Fain updated the membership today during his weekly social media update as the union boss continues to seek better offers, believing there's more to be had. Glad you're with us at 11. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. This time, no new strike targets were announced. Jacqueline Francis is live tonight. Jacqueline, do they seem to be any closer to a deal, though? Kimberly, that's the big question. One of our experts says that this could possibly wrap up in a week or so. Meanwhile, Union President Sean Fain said progress has been made with GM and Stellantis. Ford is a different story. Bottom line, Fain seems to think there's room to negotiate more. But when we vote, it will be from a place of strength. You don't make decisions on your future out of fear uncertainty or doubt. This is the message from UAW Chief Sean Fain on day 36 of the strike against the Detroit Three. On the table, new offers from both GM and Stellantis, both submitted within the last 24 hours. Fain says they've made serious progress with the two automakers. Meanwhile, Ford continues to stew about KTP and pretend they can't afford what we're asking for. All three automakers are offering a 23% wage increase over four and a half years. The companies say these are record contracts and they are eager to come to a deal that works for them and their employees. I also find it a pathetic irony that every time they make an offer, it's the best they can do, it's a record offer. And then two days later, there's a new record. What that should tell you is there's room to move. Dr. Merrick Masters, an expert in labor negotiations, giving his two cents on what could be next. It may take an additional pain inflicted on the companies in terms of a, an additional strike in order for them to get there. But I think they're getting close and I wouldn't be surprised that we're able to see things brought to a close within the next week or so. On the picket lines this afternoon, some workers were talking about a possible tentative agreement being reached. But of course, as we just heard Sean Fain say that he says they're just not there in the process yet. Reporting live from Solidarity House, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you.